Hello everyone, welcome back to Earthly and today I'm going to show you how to install Pokemon. It's actually very easy to install and it might only take a couple of minutes. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually come to the Curse Forage. I will leave a link in the description down below to this website just here. As you can see, we have got the Pokemon here and it's actually got 21 million downloads. So from this site here, what we're going to want to do is just scroll down, click on the files icon just here. And once you've clicked on that, simply scroll down. And now from here, we're now going to want to select a version we want to actually play this on. So as you can see here, they support the version 1.16.5. We've also got the 1.20.2. Now that's the only two versions they support. So for me, I'm going to be doing this one just here. So the newest version uh, for Pokemon, which is this one just here. As you can see, it's also for Forage. So we do need to install Forage as well, which I will show you how to do. But what I'm going to do from here is just click on the three little dots, then click on download just here. So let that download. It'll take about five seconds or so, that will download on its own. Now we're actually going to want to install uh, Forage just here. So for me, I need to download the Forage version 1.20.2. So simply for me, I try to come to the side here, scroll down until I find the version I need, which is that one just there. If you did the other version, you will have to scroll down and find the 1.16 and then find the 1.16.5 just here and download this one. But as I did this one up here, I'm gonna be using this one here. For me now, I've got to now click on the installer. So click on that and let that download. While this is downloading, if you wanna get yourself a Minecraft server to play with your friends, be sure to check out Apex Hosting. They have some really good high quality servers. Also does come with a DDoS protection. So be sure to check them out with the link in the description down below. So I'm now on my desktop and from here, we're gonna to wanna to go to our downloads folder. Now for me, mine is just here. And this is where my two files have gone to, my forage and my Pokemon as well. So what I'm gonna do now is just drag these to my desktop, just like that. So from here, we can see up the top here, we have got the forage and down here is the Pokemon. Now, if you can't see these coffee mugs in here, you might need to install Java. Now, if you want to know how to do that, I do have a video on it. I will leave a link on the screen and also in the description down below as well on how to install that. And if you have got it installed but still can't see these coffee mugs, simply just right click on this, then click on open with, then click on Java just here. So make sure you select that. And if you select that, it will now give us the option to actually install uh, Forage just here. Now, simply from here, what we're gonna wanna do is just make sure this does go to our .minecraft down here. Then from there, click on OK. Now let this install, it shouldn't take that long at all. Okay, mine is now done, and that took about 25 seconds or so. Now click on OK just here. We can now get rid of the forage up here, we do not need this one no more. And now what we're gonna wanna do is actually load up our Minecraft launcher. So my Minecraft launcher has now loaded. And from here, what we're gonna wanna do is make sure we've got the forage selected down here. Now if it's not selected here, click on the little arrow and make sure you do select it. It should be this one just here, forage, and it's got the version in there, 1.20.2. If it has not come in here, simply come up to installations up here. And in here, it should be in here. If it's not in here, make sure you've got modded selected up here. Make sure that is selected. It should come up in here. If it still hasn't come up in here, click on new installation. And in here, in the versions, make sure you select your forage. Now you might have to look through all this mess and find your forage. It shouldn't take too long. So you can actually just type for it and put four in. And as you can see just here, we have got my forage just here for 1.20.2. Select that. Then from here, you give it a name. Give it a picture if you want to then click on create down here but you don't need to do this if you've already got it in here now there's one more step we need to do and that is to come over to this little file icon just here and click on that this will load up our dot minecraft this is basically where all our minecraft files have installed to now from here we need to look for the mods folder just here now if you don't have a mods folder you can simply come up to the side right click new then click on new folder just here or click on the folder icon just there click on that and simply just call this mods like that and then click on enter. Now only do this if you have not got a mods folder, but I have, so I don't need to make one. And once you find your mods folder, double click into it. Now for you, it should be empty by default, but if it isn't, just take all your mods out and pop onto your desktop. But for most people, this will be empty, just like this one. From here, what we're gonna wanna do is just actually put our mod in here. So here is our Pokemon. So just here, drag that into here, just like that. Close this out, head back over to your Minecraft launcher, come over to play, then click on play just here. Now you will get this warning just like this. Click on I understand, then click on play. Now while this is loading up, if you want to get more FPS for Minecraft, be sure to check out my video I made, which I will leave a link in the description down below and also on the screen as well. There I show you how to get a lot more FPS so you can actually play Minecraft smoothly. So if that is something you need, be sure to check out that video. Now our Minecraft is now loading up. As you can see, we've got all this different stuff on the screen. Now if it looks like this for you, that means everything is working. So that is great. Now this may take a little bit of time to load, depending on your computer. As you can see just now, mine has now loaded up and everything looks already different. So down here in the corner, we can see we've got five mods installed or five mods loaded. Now usually when you install Forage, you should only usually have three or four mods loaded. 
Now, because we got five, that tells me that Pokemon is working. As you see on the screen, we've all got these different logos just here. We see we've got the Pokemon just here. And uh, yeah, basically everything is working. Simply from here, go into your own world. Now, I'm going to go into a creative world, I think. It's call it new world. And now I'm going to click on create world. As you can see up top here also, we've got all these like Pokemon coming around my screen. So everything seems to be working perfectly fine at the moment. So now we can actually select a Pokemon to go with. So I'm going to select this one just here and click on begin your adventure and as you can see already we have now got pokemon working so you see everything is different we've got a person just walking here we've got a pokemon down here and we've got one over here as well if this video helped you out to install pokemon be sure to leave a like on it also hit that subscribe button as well as i upload nearly daily minecraft videos but that is it for this video today hope you have all enjoyed and i'll see you all in my next one